Great weekend here on the Power 5, 8-2-1 and one overall with college and NFL, including an outright win with Akron that I gave out earlier in the week. It was very clearly a much different story with my premium picks at wagetalk.com. I'll address that in just a little bit. But it is now a 174, 145, and 11 overall run with free plays here on the show. And I've got you covered with five free plays in World Series Game 3 and Monday Night Football. Uh, side and total for the World Series, side, total, and a player prop for Giants Steelers. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with your thoughts on my selections. And if you'd be so kind to hit that thumbs up, your support is always greatly appreciated. Here we go. Number one, we will start with World Series Game 3. Yankees obviously in a must-win situation, returning home and down 0-2. History not really on the Yankees' side, at least big picture, because 45 of the last 56 teams to fall down 0-2 in a World Series have lost the series. The last two times a team has overcome an 0-2 series deficit in the Fall Classic were the 96 Yankees and 86 Mets. All that being said, I think it is imperative that the Yankees get off to a good start tonight. Facing Walker Bueller, I think they will. So let's bet the Yankees' first five money line, minus 145. Bueller, the starter for the Dodgers, 6.53 ERA on the road, and an average of two and a half home runs allowed per nine innings on the road as well. If the Yankees can't get to him, their season's going to be in a lot of trouble, no doubt about it. While Bueller did give the Dodgers four shutout innings in Game 3 of the LCS, remember he also allowed six runs in his lone LDS start against the Padres. He had a 5.54 FIP in the regular season, so look for the Yankees to be ahead after five innings here. I also like the over 8.5 for the game. This will be our second play. Just went through the likelihood of the Yankees scoring early against Bueller. I'll throw in the fact this lineup is also number one in WRC+. Plus. Uh, for the season against right-handed pitching, they average over five runs per game at home. But my one concern with the Yankees tonight is that their Game 3 starter, Clark Schmidt, is not as good at home as he is on the road. His ERA away from Yankee Stadium, very good, 1.39. At home, that number jumps to 4.50. The Dodgers are also number two for the season in WRC Plus versus right-handers, including number one over the last two-plus months since Max Muncy returned the line, uh, to the lineup. You look at this Dodgers lineup, going back to the start of the NLCS, they've averaged seven runs per over the last eight games. Even with a possibly hobbled uh, Shohei Otani, I think the Dodgers can score enough here to help get this game up and over the total. Let's now move to Monday Night Football for our third selection. As far as the side is concerned, let's go Giants plus six. Why would I back a putrid team like the Juban in this spot? Well, if I'm being honest, it's more of a fade of the Steelers as favorites. Remember, this Steelers team does not win by margin very often. Now, they do have three double-digit wins so far this season, but that's the same number of wins by more than eight points that they had the previous two seasons combined. It was a very misleading final last week on Sunday night football against the Jets. That, that was a, a one-possession game in the second half that just got away with some fluke turnover luck. Uh, so... I don't think the Giants win by, or pardon me, the Steelers win by margin here. You also have to consider Mike Tomlin, just 43% against the spread when favored by more than a field goal. The Giants, 67% ATS, 18-9 uh, as a road dog with Daniel Jones at quarterback. And underdogs that scored 10 points or fewer the previous week, like the Giants did. They're off a 28-3 loss to the Eagles, 59% since 05. I know the Giants failed in that exact same spot last week, but we're going to try again. Uh, that's the case for the Juman right there, plus the six. As far as the total, it's low, 36.5, but I would play the under here. The Steelers' offense could have some problems up front dealing with what is the clear strength of this Giants defense, that being their front four. As far as the Giants' offense, well, they're up against the Steelers' defense that's second in the league in scoring, allowing just 14.4 points per game. The Giants have scored 18 points or fewer in five of their last seven games, five of their seven games a season. Pardon me, only one Giants game this season has made it over the total, and that was because of a blocked field goal return against Seattle. I think bets on the Giants and under somewhat correlated, so that's the way we'll go side in total. And then lastly, as far as a player prop is concerned, let's look at Steelers wide receiver George Pickens over four and a half receptions. Now, if you listen to the morning wager with myself and Mark Zinno, then you heard us make the case for Pickens to go over 60 and a half yards. But let me also now mention he has at least five receptions in five of 
his seven games this season. Last week, with Russell Wilson starting for the first time, Pickens had five catches. He saw nine targets. So I think over four and a half receptions from Pickens is also a good bet. Let's now go ahead and recap the Power Five for Monday. Number one, Yankees first five money line. Should be around minus 145. Number two, Dodgers-Yankees over eight and a half. Should be around minus 115, minus 120. Number three, Giants plus six on Monday Night Football. Number four, under 36 and a half for this Giants-Steelers game. And then number five, Steelers wide receiver George Pickens over four and a half receptions. Again, go ahead, comment down below with your thoughts, comments, questions, whatever. Uh, let me know what you are betting on Monday as well when it comes to the World Series and Monday Night Football. Now a quick note. I mentioned it was an outstanding weekend here on the Power Five. But there's no running or hiding for the fact it was a bad weekend with my client selections. I'm very upset about it. Touched on it a bit during the morning morning wager, but wanted to apologize uh, here yet again. Got caught being obsessed with beating the number and closing line value. Well, guess what? I had five CLV trophies over the weekend. Only one of those plays, uh, the Browns hit. Uh, just, just a bad weekend. It's been a great football season up until this point. No doubt about it. No one takes losing harder than me. Still number one in college football this season. Was number one with all football heading into Sunday, but that's changed, obviously. What can you do? It's time to refocus this week. Get back on track. There's going to be a special offer at Wager Talk. Uh, if you're interested in getting on board long term, you'll be able to take $50 off either an NFL or college season pass with coupon code FBALL50. That's FBALL50. Uh, note that promo will not be available until 8 p.m. Eastern tonight, Monday. Just make a note, and on that note, that's going to do it for Monday's edition of the Power Five. Battling a cold, if you couldn't tell, so a little shorter than normal. Thank you for dealing with that. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, smash that like button. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.